Hello, Facebook. It is Terrific Tuesday, and um, this was not what we had intentionally um, came up with for our Facebook Live for Tuesday, but uh, kind of came up this morning, so I thought I would jump on here and throw something out at you guys. Now, you know, there's, there's two different types of people. Um, you know, you have people in your life people in my life that motivate me um, don't allow me to have excuses and then there are people in my life that um, well I guess there's not a lot of people left because I don't really listen to them but um, there's people in life that will motivate you and inspire you and not allow you to make excuses and then there's people that will allow you to make excuses and keep you down and give you all the reasons why you can't do it and why you shouldn't even try and I, I, those people are pretty much, they're, they're pretty easy to spot. It's the people that do the subtle, the subtle things that, um, the, the subtle, uh, nudges of, uh, of negativity and the subtle nudges of allowing you to keep your excuses that you need to worry, worry about. And, you know, I, we were, I was having a conversation with somebody and we were talking and we were, I, I don't really remember what the context of the conversation was, but it came into, well, you know, if you're working two jobs or if you're working three jobs, then you don't have uh, a chance to better yourself. And to go back a little bit, I was saying that, you know, people need to learn new skills and we're an ever evolving society. And the things that we had back 10, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, are never coming back because we constantly keep evolving. And some people are left behind because they don't evolve with time. They don't get a new skill or they don't learn a new mindset or they don't learn something new. They just stay stagnant. In life, everybody, I mean, you can either agree or disagree, but either you're going up or you're going down. You're not, if you're sitting still, it's not, it's not gonna happen. You're either going up or you're going down. So I was saying something about, you know, nowadays when we have Googles and we have smartphones, I mean, you have a computer in your, in your pocket that you can look up any, any answer to any question that you have. And so you can really learn and get an education. You don't have to go to a, a, a university to get a formal education anymore to better yourself and to learn a new skill set. And then the person I was talking to said, well, it's really hard to do when you have two jobs or when you have three jobs, you don't really have time to do that. And I thought that was kind of funny that, um, you know, that, that uh, he said that. And I said, well, so you're telling me that everybody that has two jobs or everybody that has three jobs in the whole history of multiple job uh, doing people, that not one person has bettered themselves and gotten them out of that situation. And it's not true. Thousands have, maybe even millions have, have hustled and gotten two jobs in, in the short term to better themselves. So then when I said that, and debunk the fact that that's not true of everybody. Then he said, well, you know, it doesn't happen, you know, the majority of people. Uh, that, you know, that person that was able to do or two or three jobs and better themselves and get them out of that situation, well, that doesn't really apply to the group that I'm talking about. See, there's always an excuse. There's always gonna be out someone out there that's going to give you an excuse. If I, if I would have listened to all the excuses that I had in my life, I was little. Um, in, in seventh grade and eighth grade, uh, we didn't have junior high school. I went straight from elementary school in seventh grade to eighth grade, went to high school. And me and a couple of guys, we, I was little. I was the smallest kid in the class. And we got, we got bullied, we got picked on, we got chased by the juniors and seniors or anybody that was bigger than me. Um, I mean, I got thrown in a locker. So I could, have, I could have easily used that as an excuse and said, you know what? I'm just gonna be the little guy on the totem pole. I'm not gonna do this. In Taekwondo, right? I went to a Taekwondo school. My, my, I was the only white kid in the whole school. I was in an all black Taekwondo school. At that point, I could have said, oh, well, you know, Taekwondo, I can't do it because they don't, they don't accept me and I'm different. So I might as well just not try Taekwondo. Then after I, I paid my dues and I gained the respect and those guys became some of my best friends, my Taekwondo instructor pulled me aside and said, you know, you, um, you're not my best Taekwondo athlete. Um, you know, you're, you're not talented. Uh, you know, the only reason that you win is through grit and hard work and determination, which heart beats talent any day when talent doesn't show up. 
And I out I outlasted, and I ended up going, you know, to the Olympic trial qualifier. I ended up taking bronze at nationals. I ended up taking bronze at U.S. Open. I ended up becoming something. Did I get to go as far as I wanted to go? No, I didn't. But I went farther. I could have used all those excuses. I could have used all of that. Same thing. I didn't finish college. I walked out of college. I didn't. I didn't withdraw from college. I just left. I just said, you know what? I I can't do this. I'm done. And I could have easily said, well, you know, I don't have a college education. I don't have formal education. I can't be a business owner. I can't get up in front of a thousand people and speak. I can't make six figures a year by the time I'm 23. I can't have this. I can't have that. But I did all that. And I still do all that. And this is not to impress you because I don't care what people think. This is to tell you that I, I, I could have made all these excuses for myself. I could have listened to people that said, well, don't worry, you're not good enough. It's okay, it's not gonna happen for you. We'll find something else for you to do. But I pushed through. So if I can do it, and other people, and millions of other people can do it, and other people can, can pull themselves out of the ghetto, or pull themselves out of homelessness, or pull themselves out of any, any despair, then, then you can do that too. And don't let anybody, you know what, first of all, you gotta drop your own excuses, but don't let anybody tell you, oh, don't worry, it's okay. Don't let them pat you on the head, okay? And tell them it's okay, because that's the worst. The ones that you, you can hear the positive and the enthusiasm for, those are your cheerleaders, those are the people, you, you can hear them. The people that you really know, the negative Nancys, the ones that aren't getting it done in their life, so they're gonna belittle you, you kinda of know them, because they, they make, a, there's a fine line, there's good and there's bad, but it's those people right here. The ones that are kind of hiding in the in the in the in the weeds, that are saying, "Oh, don't you know? Don't worry, it's okay." You're, I mean, you're a great person, and I think you're going to be good. But you should probably just you know, stay in your lane. No, if you feel like you can be more, which I believe that you can, if you believe that you can do more, which I believe that you can, because I and, and this is me talking to myself too. Always strive to be better today than you were yesterday, and always be better than you are you know this week than you were last week. And if you constantly keep making those improvements, you're going to better yourself. It may take some time, but you will make an improvement. So focus on the positive people. Focus on the cheerleaders that are there, that have your back even when times go bad. Stay away from negative Nancys and all those people that you know and that, that, that are not there that, that really want to bring you down, but really, really, really have discernment and really, really pay attention to those people that sound like they have their, your best interest in mind, but are allowing you to, to keep up with your excuses, to, that are giving you excuses for your excuses and reasons why your excuses are, are valid. Because anytime, it, my old Taekwondo coach used to say, excuse is a sign of weakness. And it's true. You drop the drama and get, get to work. You have to do the effing work. And you have to do it consistently all day, every day. Because at the end of it all, it doesn't matter what the positive people say. It doesn't matter what the negative people say. It doesn't matter what these people that are gonna try to uh, nonchalantly draw you into where their level of living is. It's you. It's the six inches of gray matter between your ears. It's the person that you look back at in the mirror. And at the end of your life, if you can say, I did the best that I could. I trained and I, I learned and I gave and I gave with a loving heart the best that I could then now you have nothing to worry about. You have nothing, you have nothing to feel uh, uh, regret about. But it's when we live to the expectations of others or we live to, the, to live to the expectations of others. That's when we get into trouble. So I'm going to leave you on that note. I wanted to be quick, but that came up today and I thought, you know what? I, I, it's, it's, it's easy to find those positive people. It's easy to see the negative people. It's not easy to see those people that slowly just allow your excuses to be, oh, it's okay, don't worry, well, it's okay, that's just not gonna work out for you. So be careful and have that discernment, okay? So, Steph and I will be back on here probably a little bit later uh, for our actual Facebook Live. This was an impromptu one. If you have any questions or comments below or how you uh, were able to, you, you had an excuse and you said, you know what, I'm dropping the drama, no excuses, I'm going after it. Or if you want to, you know, have a, a, an audience and do a public, hey, this is what I'm working on. You know, this is what I'm doing. This is a, uh, a friend zone here. You know, we have love and, and admiration for everybody. But just like people I have in my, my inner circle call me out on my bullshit, I want to, you know, you can't, you, can't live like, you can't live like that. You know, and, and when I hear something, I'm like, hey, you know what? If, it, if this is happening in my life, it might be happening in somebody else's life. And I want to share that with you. A lot of people are thinking things but they're too afraid to say it. And me, I have no filter on my left mouth. I'm gonna let you know how it is. I'm straight up, I'm not passive aggressive. I'm straight up gonna tell you how it is. So, 
you got any questions, comments, you can comment below. Hearts, likes, loves, hates, whatever you want to do. Love you guys. And until next time, start strong, finish stronger.